Okay, everybody, hello. This is the same spot that we got the footage of the tilapia, the bass, the bluegill, everything. Water temp in the main river is 32 degrees. Let's not waste any time. Let's get in the water. Tide's going out. There you go, there's your bobber. Camera's gonna be facing straight down, and then your hook is gonna be right on here. Our worms. Perfect size. All right, there we go. Time to get it in the water. All right, guys, for this cast, I had the camera rigged wrong. That's why the angle isn't straight up and down, but look at what it captured. Hundreds of fish down there. Bass, bluegill. Oh, man. This looks more correct. All right, so I wanted to try out this bobber accessory, kind of just drifting through all these fish here. Probably about 10% of all those fish are actually active right here. But as you can see, they're loaded, they're stacked up in there. Let's see if we get the attention of a bass right there. He turns away. But you see there's a mix of fish following the bait and then there's a mix of fish just kind of sitting there on the bottom. Oh my god. We just got destroyed. Okay. Game on, baby. Game on. I was not expecting that. As you could probably tell. Okay, let's try that again. Also, when I see the bobber go down, I'm setting the hook just like any other bobber, but I didn't know how these fish were having the bait in their mouth. Obviously, you know, they're just picking parts off, but I can't see that at the time. But look at all those fish down there, man. We are in like the dead of winter right now. Please don't blow over camera. Oh, we just got bit again. And I wasn't paying attention. Come on, man. Unless I'm just bouncing on the bottom. Try just threading it on here. If we do get one this way, we know it's bluegills. As you see, right when I threaded the worm on the hook, the fish were like, nope. They're smarter than that, guys. If they don't see something natural, they are not going to bite it. Look at all those fish stacked up under that pine tree right there not moving a muscle all right let's put on a real worm now but as you can see some of these fish are pretty aggressive for the winter time are you serious man it's got to be like not a fish but the worm keeps disappearing. We're putting half a worm. It's gotta be just bluegill. That's my guess right now. I know you little wieners are down there. Here I started using half a worm. So you can see attention of the bass here. Not get the hook though. Most of these fish were very finicky. Oh my god. I gotta figure these fish out, man. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. We need to catch these or we're super failures. They're all the way out there, though, guys. Yeah, these fish were finicky, guys. They kind of were sucking it in for a second, spitting it out, uh, taking bites out of it, stuff like that. They weren't really taking it. Uh, holding it in their mouth and swimming away with it. Kind of just taking pieces out of it. I cannot believe how hard these fish are to hook today, guys. But you see if I 
just thread it on the hook they're not gonna they're not gonna bite that so I think here I just started letting him take it all the way. Uh, we were getting the bobber pulled under, but I was going to let him pull it under for a few seconds and then set the hook. Uh, so that's why we were kind of letting it drift through here. You see all these bass and all these panfish. It looks like we have a mix of bluegill and pumpkin seed down there. They were all over it. In my opinion, I think they were getting more and more worked up uh, each time the worm passed. See, they're not letting it get away. I really wanted to make sure that they had it at this point though, so I wasn't just setting the hook on the small bobber down. I was letting them really, really take it. They are not as uh, dormant as they were on the first few casts. Look at him, had it right in his mouth. But like I said, guys, I could only set the hook on what I saw from the bobber. I did not have this view the whole time. Also a small, small hook. I think They're I have a it. size eight on there. We're just gonna wait till he sinks it. And then just wait till the line tightens because we just keep missing him. As it started drifting too far away from them, they would kind of lose interest because they didn't want to move out of their way to grab it. Repeating this drift every time and they were there. We were getting bit almost every cast. I think we finally got one. I think we got one here. Exactly what I thought it would be. Oh God. Well, that's the culprit. And I kind of figured it was. Normally I would keep this guy for bait, but uh, I'm gonna let him go. All right, you little sly devil you. Let's get it back out there, see if we can get another one. They were just getting worked up. It's really cool to see the down angle though, uh, to see the drift that you're that you're doing. See, they're sucking it in, sucking it out. That one had it for a decent second, but. Jeez. Here we don't even have bait, and they're so aggressive, they're biting the hook. Bare hook right there. We got right back in there. Oh, I think we one. had him for a second. <laughs> They were definitely finicky. It eventually got to the point here where they're just kind of inactive, not biting anymore. Hope you enjoyed. This will be linked in the description if you guys are interested or whatever you want to pick it up. But thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.